Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Burning Aura podcast. I'm Jake Scarborough, joined by my co-hosts Tim Olson and Fidel Fabian. How are you guys doing tonight? Pretty good. Good. Um, obviously, this is a late recording because we are recording at midnight for you two. Um, 9 p.m. for me. So let's get into it before we uh, all pass out, or at least Tim passes out. So mm. nevertheless, we had the NASCAR races at Talladega this past weekend. Um Starting off with the Xfinity race, Fabian, your take on it. Yeah, I feel like most people undersell the Xfinity package at plate tracks. You got three wide racing, like mostly the entire race. Uh, Blaine Perkins barrel rolling on the back stretch, like straight out of Talladega Knights. Daniel Hamrick taking out a camera while flipping over in turn four. And Jeb Burton doing consistently well throughout the entire race. Y'all heard that, didn't you? <laughs> and Jeb, Jeb Burton con- uh, doing consistently well throughout the entire race. Yeah. Yeah. Technical difficulties are fun. That was cute. All right. <laughs> uh yeah, congrats to Jeb. That was that was pretty cool, you know, like don't see that often. But it's good to see someone who was repping BRP. That's true. Win, and then see another car who was repping BRP uh flip over. That that was not so good. Mm. But I'm glad everyone's okay. Congrats to Jeb. Uh very I think the Xfinity package is better than the cut package at Dega. And for like play tracks, it is very fun to watch. Well, for me, um, I don't know when we were in our little like reaction party. I think I was just saying nonstop, Jeb Burton's gonna end up wrecking the field because that man was driving like Dale Jr. did with the Gen Six cars, like blocking five lanes across. Um, and ironically, he's the one that doesn't do a damn thing to anyone and ends up winning. So. Uh, two flips after not having flips in how long at Dega? Like, what was it, 2012 Mike Wallace or something like that? Are you talking about Xfinity? Yeah, just Xfinity at Dega. I, it was Mike Wallace, but it was like 2011, 2012, something like that. So I to think... have like a dry spell for that long and then have two people flip, um, kind of an oddball. But uh, as you both kind of pointed out the plate racing for xfinity better than cup in my opinion um by a long shot but yeah i mean jeb winning that's cool to see um but cup series was uh where more drama occurred at the end yeah definitely uh the fan base complaining about the cup package which is fair but also i think it's just mostly the drivers just not going that aggressively on like lap five making three or four wide because they're trying to conserve their stuff you know make sure they make it to the end not cause the big one like lap 10 and take themselves out way too early which i think it's good but also the package does need some tweaking because just like at daytona the last uh, not the last, but the first 20 laps they were stuck side by side in a double file line. But uh, uh, mostly a clean race for a Talladega race. What are you two giggling at? <laughs> we always, I, I swear, anytime you're talking, there's just something that happens. It's funny. What happened? I don't know. We don't talk about it. Sure. Keep going. You're doing great, Sweet Cheeks. <laughs> well, I think it's your turn on this one, Tim. Um, Kyle Busch won. Good for him. Uh, I thought the recent, like, I, I like Xfinity a lot better for the drafting tracks, but I did like how there was a third lane that was emerging at certain points. Didn't last very long, but it it could help people gain places. Um. Also happy I got to got to meet Kyle Bush a couple days after. Uh lucky bastard. Yeah, so 
everyone watching, you live like Mooresville area, like near all the shops. Probably heard of GoPro Motorplex. Big go-karting place. Very like competitive. They got fast go-karts and all that. Me and my buddy are just sitting there. Went there for my birthday. And in comes a group of four. And me and my buddy look at each other. It's like, dude, that's Kyle fucking Bush. <laughs> and like that. That was crazy. Went and got a photo with him. Super nice guy. Uh, something I didn't know would be on my bucket list that ended up getting crossed off of it. So, and what's funny is I was literally talking to you earlier that day saying you should totally go to like the Colleg RCR shops and you're just like, eh, they're too far. And then you end up <laughs> seeing the dude that won that past weekend for RCR. That was, that was great. It's meant to be stars aligned. <laughs> um, geez, the cup race. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know really to say about the cup race. Fabian, there was like a weird stat you found earlier that there was like, how many passes for the lead? 308. Yeah, so 308, which means absolutely nothing because it's easy to pass for the lead when you pass someone for the lead by literally an inch. And it just goes back and forth the entire time. Wait, there's 308 lead changes? Yeah. Yep. So does that like... That's the counting people. that that's counting just them being side by side and barely passing each other. Does that mean that that's like a new record by like a bunch? Yeah. Wasn't it like 80 mm-hmm. something? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you can't you can't generate runs, it seems, in this car. I mean, you can generate runs, but it's kind of half ass. I mean, we literally saw just two lanes stuck side by side all race. Um. So yeah, I guess that's kind of boring. I'd rather we go back to Gen 5 plate racing. I feel like that's when uh, a lot of people enjoyed it more, but apparently more, a lot of people still clown it for whatever reason. Um, Never happy. It sucks. I don't know. K- Kyle winning, though, I mean, that's cool to see. You know, two wins, first 10 races, similar to his first year at JGR. Um, so he's kind of rebuilding his career, even though he's like, you know way far in it two championships all that so it just seems weird but i mean not much to take out of it i do have to comment though when we did predictions last week i made some wild decisions by picking anthony alfredo and uh, ty gibbs i'd like to point out anthony alfredo finished dead last in the xfinity race and ty gibbs ran out of fuel on the final restart those weren't horrible picks those weren't horrible picks but that could have gone so much better like gibbs was up there gibbs was up front all race i was seriously thinking like did i really just pick the most random thing i could coming to mind and it almost worked and then he just runs out of fuel on the restart so um yeah kind of disappointing that i thought i made good picks for once and not really uh you know my cold takes but uh you're gonna hear that for dover don't you worry you always miss. You, uh, yeah. <laughs> Even when I make a normal pick, they miss. Doesn't matter at this point. Yep. But uh, what what day was it? Was it Tuesday? Uh, they put out the news yesterday that Josh Berry is coming back to the Cup Series because he will be filling in for an injured Alex Bowman who will be out like three to four weeks or something small like that. But anyways, uh, for my sprint car wreck during the high limit racing whatever the hell it's called that Kyle Larson runs. So any, any takes on Josh Berry coming back or the, you know, Alex Bowman kind of being gone. Happy for Barry uh, coming back to the cup series, gives him more time in the cup car show. And uh, he can show that what he can do in that car, but it sucks that another Hendrick driver and it's Bowman once again for another year that is going to be out of the car for several weeks. Uh, starting to see why Joe Gibbs doesn't let uh, his drivers go out and do random stuff now since it's been horrible luck for uh, Hendrick. It's It's been something. But I'm hoping Bowling get a pretty good recovery even though most people who get a back injury don't really fully recover at all. I mean, that's Mostly the reason why Gordon retired that 08 crash in Vegas, it actually hurt him and kind of gave him a, a lot of back pain. Now, well, not 
to this day, he still feels that pain. Hmm. I actually never knew that. That's yeah, I've never heard that before, to be honest. Yeah, no, I don't doubt it though. Um, good for as Fidel just said, good for Bo or for Barry to get back into the car, but it I feel so bad for Bowman because it's back to back years. Just shit luck because last year he barely even tapped the wall and got concussed and then i don't know and then just another racing incident but obviously hope he recovers fast and hopefully barry will do good in the car which i'm assuming he will well um i i don't know yeah barry getting more starts in the cup car i think it's more and more obvious he's likely going to be in the Cup Series within the next couple of years, especially if he's the guy that they're tapping the, you know, fill in as a reserve, I guess. Um, yeah, Bowman being out, that sucks, but obviously this is a scenario where he'll get waivers. Um, really makes you wonder, is Hendrick going to do something like, uh, like Fabian mentioned, do something like Gibbs and kind of put his drivers on a, house arrest make sure they don't do anything outside of racing and nascar because chase getting injured just by doing something from hanging out with his family and then you have bowman racing a sprint car and getting injured and especially with larson having a large dirt schedule um obviously nothing compared to recent years but you know larson being one of the best guys in dirt and racing that very often he could get injured and that's not something you want for your star guy. You already had Chase Elliott on the, on the bench for a minute. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't see any other injuries like this, especially just from outside the sport itself. But you know, what, what else can you do? Um, nevertheless though, the only real bit of news outside of that is, uh, I guess Spire Motorsports pulled their entry from the Xfinity series this week and at Dover due to the weather situation. So they were just kind of like, let's not waste our money by going up there to Dover and let's just save up for Darlington because I guess they could get rained out in quality and they just missed the field anyway. So I'm not sure if either of you have something to comment on that. Yeah, just a smart decision for, for uh, Spire. Hopefully Carson Hosevari can get better experience at Darlington than the little almost no experience he gets at Dover. Yeah. Well then uh outside of that, predictions for this weekend's races. Uh IndyCar coming back for race three of their schedule, being at uh Barber Motorsports Park um in Alabama. So Fabian, what's your pick for that? The man I'm going to pick has had horrible luck. He had bad luck at uh, St. Petersburg. He had bad luck at uh, Texas. He's currently sitting second in the points. I'm going to go with Pato Award. All right. And then I'm assuming, Tim, you're just going to sit out on this one. Uh, I'll go with Joseph Newgarden. Seems like a safe pick. All right. All right. Um, right. I'm going to go ahead with someone who's gotten a win here um funny you mentioned new garden because he got his first career win here um rhinus vk got his first career win here and the thing that they both had in common was they got their first career win for ed carpenter so a driver who's going to get their first career win for ed carpenter is going to be none other than connor daly i think he finally gets a win that's my wild card pick for the weekend and uh that's that's all i'm gonna have also Hold on. All right. Well, uh, I guess our meeting was interrupted by uh, a late intruder of Matthew Stutz. What are you doing, sir? That's that's not. Oh my. Worldwide, bro. Worldwide. Uh, is are you just in a good mood? Did the Steelers actually draft something good? I mean, it was what we needed. Okay, Offensive line. Enough. All right. That's well, we uh, since you decided to join in the middle of IndyCar picks, give us your pick for Barber. Who? Your your pick for you know Barber Motorsports Park the the IndyCar race. What's up? Is that like a road course? It's a over? road course. Okay. Uh, usually when I look at that, I look at like the the. <clears throat> I look at the foreign drivers. Uh, I think of Roman Grosjean. I got Roman. You know, I'm feeling I'm feeling an uh an F1 type of 
type of day, you know? I'm not even going to ask. Okay, yeah. F1's in Azerbaijan. Um, this yeah. is an interesting weekend because they changed up the sprint format. We now have two qualifying sessions, one for the sprint race, one for the feature, making the sprint race practically irrelevant for what it does. Uh, now it's just a regular little points race. Um, and then something to do with tires used for the weekend. Aside from that, who do you guys think wins the sprint, wins the feature? And I guess if you want to toss in your podium, Fabian, you go. Uh, I'm going to say Verstappen wins the sprint. Checo wins the wins the main race on Sunday. Most now. All right, Tim. He's going to drop the podium. Uh, no. I don't know. Back is a bit. It could be anybody. Uh, so I'm going to go out on a limb. I'll say Fernando sweeps the weekend, sweeps everything, and Lance mm -hmm. Troll will get a podium of some kind either in the sprint or in the feature. Okay. Okay. Stop. Oh, wait, what? Uh, I'm going with uh, – who am I feeling, man? Uh, I mean, I guess throwing, uh, for the sprint race, I guess I'm going to go – I'll go Checo, Hamilton, Verstappen. That's my three. But for the race, race like the the big the big guns, I'm gonna go Verstappen, Checo, Jorge Russell. Yeah. Okay, Fabian. What was that you were gonna chime in on? I was gonna say that Aston Martin has been teasing something with the upgrades for their car going to Azerbaijan. And so has McLaren. So I'm kind of interested what Aston Martin brings to the table because they've been especially very quick with Fernando. So now that I've remembered that, I might want to change my pick, but I'm going to stick to it for now. All right. Well, I think what I'm going to go with is for the sprint race, I'm going to say your, uh, your new trio, as it, as it is, for Stappen Perez Alonso, that's your podium. Um, for the feature, for the feature, I'm going Alonso Russell Perez. I think uh, a little bit of a difference, but yeah, oh. Aston Martin getting to the top step. I see, I see, but uh. Outside of that, now NASCAR predictions being at Dover. Truck Series is off again. Um, Xfinity and Cup, obviously, racing. So, with that being said, picks for both series this weekend. I'm going to go with Hamrick winning at Dover. I don't know why, but I just have a feeling that Hamrick's going to win. Chase is going to... Chase, I feel like he's gonna have his comeback at dover he's won there last season i feel like he can do it again all right um this man he is he's due he has to he's going to win and i'm positive of it my accidental championship prediction uh brandon jones will it happen <laughs> hell no but I don't know. He he has to do something good because this has been a shit show of a season. <laughs> but uh, Cup, I'm liking the way – zero bias in the slightest. I'm liking the way the 11 car has been. Last couple weeks, Martinsville was a very good run, kind of a breath of fresh air of someone who's – who, who kind of likes him, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, Dega was good, and I'm – he says that he sounded confident, so Hamlet hey, Dover. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dover, uh, for the Xfinity series, I'm gonna be biased as fuck here. I'm gonna go, <laughs> go John Hunter. John Hunter, <laughs> hot streak right now. I mean, he's smoking red hot, bro. I mean, smoking. Um, not just physically, but also when he's driving that car around. Just the car is great. He knows what he's doing. Andover is kind of like, I don't know if you wanted to call it a short track, 
but I call it a short track because it looked like a short track to me. And this yeah. is kind of what I think suits him more than some of these boo boo mile and a half tracks. I think this is where he gonna get get another one. He gonna he gonna add a trophy to the case, and then for Cup, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pick Chase Briscoe. This man is this this man's he's got top fives. He's got more top fives than he had nearly all season last year. And he, listen, this brother is something special. Okay, you need a that you looking at superstar. Talent. I mean, this he is peaking at the right moment. It's near the middle of the season. He's doing his thing, bro. He looking nice. He's the three top fives in a row. He's gonna make it four. One, two, three, uh, four. He's making it four top fives, including a W this weekend in Martinsville or Martinsville Dover. Even if they don't race, it's gonna happen on Monday. I'm calling it right now. It's gonna win. It's gonna be a win for the 14 crew. I would put fifty dollars on it, but I'm not shaking hands. Oh damn! <laughs> wow, that, that was like motivational. Yeah, like, that was that, that was a crazy. difference. Well, you know what? <laughs> Did you just go Fidel? Stupid! His chase pick was a, a crazy, <laughs> crazy chase pick. <laughs> Out I'm of glad, nowhere, I'm, I'm nowhere, I'm glad just I was more one thing than that. All Chase right. is gonna pick like fifteenth. Well, um, you know what? I'll look at this one. For Xfinity, I'm going to go ahead and say a JRM driver. It's not going to be Brandon Jones. Josh Berry. Uh, no. Huh? It's not Josh Berry. I'm saying you're Justin Allgaier is going to win. You're going to feel so fucking stupid when Brandon Jones wins. I I don't know. I just feel like this is one of the races that Allgaier is going to just randomly win. Uh, he gets those random wins. Like he He's the one that wins the boring races. How about that? I don't think I've seen yeah. Justin Allgaier win an entertaining race. It's Dover. I don't think we have seen an entertaining Dover race since, oh. like, 2013. What? The, what do the, you have the, to say? No, it was the 20, 2018, 2019 race, I think it was, or 2020. It was him versus Sadler there on the last lap. That was pretty good. Anyways, <laughs> um, no, no, for the Sadler. Cup Series race, I, I have faith that the race gets postponed to Monday. And there's an interesting statistic about Dover when it comes to Monday races. This is about to be some bullshit. The last Truex. two Dover races that have happened on a Monday, Martin Truex Jr. has won. So I'm betting the race gets post postponed and just Truex wins. Yo, raise your hand if you think that won't happen. All right, cool. Just want to. Does my I, camera look hold on, why is that? Why that dude raise his hand when he thought Chase Elliott's gonna win? Oh no, man! No, 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 get out, get out of my call, get out of my call, what? get out I of my call. Put him in the I waiting room, anyways. Josh Berry to freaking get a Mickey top five again. <laughs> Josh no. Berry's gonna win. Josh Berry will get a top ten, I think. I think you know, I I have nothing against Josh Berry. It's just this dude just randomly gets a good position out of nowhere. And also because Sal likes him. Dude, Denny's going to win. I don't know why we're even having this extra conversation. Who? Denny. I don't know a Denny. I know uh, I know uh, Kyle Busch. I know a uh, Christopher Bell. I, I, I know, know Kyle Busch. I met him. I, I heard about that. I heard about that. Hey, you that missed was- it. You missed it. We talked about it earlier in the – yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe if you uh- join the call on time. Well, I was doing something very important. Let bro celebrate his Steelers. <laughs> no, let him celebrate a 30-second pick. 30-second? Bro, it was like 20-something. No, they had, a, no he, they had the last pick of the first round as well. What? No, oh, they they missed. What? We only, the, 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 no, no, we got the 14 pick, but we got the first pick in the second round. We traded with mm, Chicago. I could have sworn it said the 30-second pick was picked. Bro, there isn't a 30-second pick this year because oh, the that's, Dolphins... That's, that's, that's right. The golf right. got DQ'd. Well, yeah. no, but they have the thirty-second pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, picking the round one. Bro, round. Oh my God, you you like man. Well, no, but you get what I'm saying though. They don't you want a the medal. Way. You want a medal for that? <laughs> what? I love how this is a racing podcast. Yet we've just gone on talking about the draft. We're gonna bring football into this one day. 
Dude, we're all yeah, s- remember when that was going to happen and then Keenan fell off the face of the earth and he's only Bro, been in okay. one episode in the past year? Yo, Matthew Matthew would probably get into it and I'd definitely get into it. I feel like... Of course. Of course. Do I just need to give you two your own segment? Yeah. Of course. Right now. The Chargers suck, man. I'm telling you, they're going nowhere this year. When I look at the Chargers, man, I think of trash. I think of garbage. I think well, you're looking at the social media star quarterback, Justin Herbert, who is going to be nothing but fraudulent at the end of this season. Also, go Steelers. No, you're not wrong. Kenny not picks. For what? I'm sorry. What did Mr. Herbert the pervert do? What? Hey. Did, didn't hey, we did, didn't we at least make the playoffs? I'm cho- I'm choking. <laughs> we made the playoffs, did you? I'd rather missed it with the way y'all played. Bro, it's 12:30 a.m. right now. Everything that's happening is a simulation. I agree. So now what's your thoughts on Bryce Young? How about you call out the fake Steelers fan down there? Oh god, bro. Name five players that we play or we got on the team. Name Wait, them right bro, now. But you're a can't name fan. anything. I became a Steelers fan just so that you don't be lonely and sad. (laughs) I'm going to end this. I'm going to end this before a murder happens. Anyways, thank you all for tuning into this week's broadcast. We'll see you guys next week with our rundown of Dover and predictions going into whatever the hell track is next. With that being said, we'll see you then. Thank you all for tuning in. Goodbye. Peace out, y'all.